During this year's Bristol Classic Motorcycle Show, uh, Steve Plater and James Whitton were hosting the bikes being fired up, and amongst them was a rather nice 1972 Kawasaki H1B, uh, built as a homage to something else. Probably best to let the owner explain before we then wallow in the glorious sound that it produces. Give us a bit of a lowdown. Yeah, it's the uh, 72 Kawasaki H1B. Um, I built out of parts during lockdown. I just had a lot of stuff in the H1R. I couldn't afford one. So I thought, well, I'm going to build, build one as a bit of a homage to, uh, to the race bikes. Um, I race it in the NSA as a Japanese class. There's no such thing as uh, <laughs> not a lot of money for racing. No, no, that's right. So, um, you're gonna get oh, yeah, please. James just said, obviously you live in the middle of nowhere. Don't piss the neighbours off. I have, I have a neighbour with dementia next door and some really good neighbours. Well, now we are. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's very hard to hear Hey, no, lovely. And, and is it easy to write? Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they're really... Their reputation, and you know, the trip has got sort of a fiery reputation. Well, they're actually... It's always used to be soft here. Yeah. Just yeah. fun. James, you're a, you're a big two-stroke man, you know, a uh, man of many machines. Is this, have you ever written anything like this? Yeah, I've written Granty's uh, original, uh, the art, yeah, H2R, and, and they're really weird. Everybody thinks that a two-stroke has produ produces no power and then all the power. And actually, this era two-stroke are completely opposite. There's a little bit of bottom end and then there's a huge balloon in the middle. I mean, I, tell me if I'm wrong, but from what I've felt, huge balloon of power in the middle and they naturally run out of steam because the jet, uh, the, the, the porting kind of runs out of its so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight and a half. Yeah. You kind of know when to change gear because you feel it. You barely use the red can, you just shoot your ear. I'll tell you what I like. You've gone for the, the the period, the original, really nice job as well, and the original Kawasaki track, beautiful, the 70s stuff you can't read. It's almost 
did, did Kawasaki make it or did yeah. they not? You know, that sort of. I like the standard tank graphics. Just works. So, did you make it off badge? Uh, these are Canadian WTF pipes, which come as a cone kit, and uh, I've made them, made them all, uh, made them all up, and I've got good mates to them all for me once I've got the right shapes. Yeah, look at it, and it sounds slightly loud, but very nice, sir. <laughs> I'm not sure about the hand grips, you need to have like a bloody brick layer. Are you looking not off? Right, thanks for that anyway, thanks buddy. Right, who's we'll on next? Who's going to listen to this first?